All right, welcome to class number cinco. All right, so um, basically in today's class, we're going to cover it, uh, are these items here. So first off is HTML5. All right, so um, most of the elements that we have discussed so far are in um, HTML4, version 4, and all of its subversions, and before, okay? Um, I think we, we've ha we have thrown in a couple of HTML5 elements, um, but... Uh, I'm not sure which ones they were, but uh, most of them were the older ones. So as of, I don't know, probably like 10 years now, but uh, as of like 10 years ago, they, they finally came out with HTML5. And if you look at the long history of um, the Internet, or, uh, it was in HTML4 for an extraordinary long time, especially dealing with it being technology and it being the Internet. Um, so anyway, uh, basically, as of HTML5, they added new elements, and the elements that they generally added were... Um, Mostly, they were things that could only be done uh, in an HTML page through plugins such as Flash or Java applets. Um, because if you remember that uh, historically, the web or, or HTML was only written to uh, to help uh, distribute, um, well, not to help, but to format, uh, you know, science papers, right? It was just meant to look like Word uh, that you could manually write. So... Um, you know, now it's become this very interactive multimedia experience. So um, it never supported those things um, naturally. Uh, so in order to do those things in the past, you had to uh, use different plugins. So for instance, if I, they might have changed it now, but before, uh, if you actually looked at the YouTube videos, the actual format was FLV, which is Flash Video. Um, so even YouTube, all of their stuff was formatted in Flash Video. Um, but now uh, they've added these new things that basically helped remove that. And that's why that's one of the reasons also that Flash, uh, you know, uh, when Steve Jobs took uh, got rid of it, uh, that was one of the reasons why it was he was able to do such because they, uh, the new HTML5 standards uh, allowed HTML to do the things that Flash was doing. So those items include uh, vector graphic uh, elements. So, so far we've been doing everything as these... Um, uh, raster images, right? So PNGs, GIFs, and um, uh, JPEGs, right? Um, now it will also support SVGs, which is scalable, scalable vector graphic. It's just a type of, it's like a, it's like an AI file, but without all the formatting. It's a very bare bones one. Um, and it also supports what we call the canvas element. We're not honestly going to cover either one of these because we don't generally use uh, too much of this. And the canvas, what that is, it's a it's an element that you uh, an HTML5 element that you stick in there, and then you allow uh, generally JavaScript to draw shapes. Um, but it's it's like a very manual, like through code kind of thing, and usually you need some sort of other program that's going to draw it for you. Uh, so generally speaking, that's like a whole other thing. Um, uh, it also allowed for multimedia elements such as video and audio. Before, the only way to do that was to uh, use a plugin. Again, generally speaking, uh, Flash. Um, some more form control attributes. So, um, you know, sometimes when you go into sites, you can go to a search thing or, you know, put in dates or time or uh, things like that. Now that's actually built into it. And it added uh, what we're generally going to cover today, uh, semantic elements. Okay, so everything we've been doing has been mostly semantic. But one of the problems with the way that uh, it was written before was that um, when you want to break up a page, like even if you look at my page here, right, um, you will notice that the, uh, you know, like I have a, a, I have a nav section, right, and then this is kind of all part of a heading or header. Uh, then we have like a body, um, and then you can see like here's like an article, we'll say, and then like here's another article, and here's another article. Um, but what we did so far is I just did something like this where, um, I just put divs and then IDs on them, right? And then I did div ID, uh, and then, you know, uh, content section, and then I just did a class. Um, but as far as the, the computer, when it reads it, it's only going to understand this div. This is a word that I made up. It doesn't know that that means anything. Uh, so these, these divs, although they do the same thing that these are going to do, the semantic grouping elements, they don't actually have any semantic meaning, right? It's the same thing as when we were talking about format, uh, or structural uh, tags versus the semantic ones. I could put a B, right, in uh, a B tag like this. Um, 
could put a B tag in front of this. Um, but that's not that says bold, but it's not semantic. It doesn't say anything about it. What would be better is if you do. Oops, no, you went to that. Uh, if we did this, okay, because that does have semantic meaning. It says strong, okay. Uh, now, generally speaking, when you look at the two, uh, as far as when you look at the viewer, it's going to look the same. But this has semantic meaning. This just is a formatting thing, and that's the same idea with this. A div is a formatting thing, but it doesn't have any semantic meaning. So instead of or also in including with these, instead of just doing a div that's an ID, you can actually instead um, section these out uh, using these here, okay? Um, which makes a little more sense. So like if you were gonna look at a typical, let's say, uh, uh, web page, right? There's always gonna be a header, right? So usually in the header, you'll have like the title of the site, maybe a logo, and then usually you'll have a nav element, right? The nav bar will be up there. So now what you would do is you would do a div header and then you put pictures and what have you in that. And then also you'd have another section inside of it called nav and then put your UL and list items in there. OK, and that would all be contained in this heading section. And then you could move that heading section or format that header section, whatever you want to do. Then after the header, uh, you would have a main section, which is basically the body, you know, of what you're seeing. So in the case here, you can see that would be this section here, right? Um, so that would be your main section and then inside of that you have sections and articles. All right now There What I read up on this before there's no real difference between the two But when I think of like a newspaper you have a sport section and then you have articles in there uh, I guess they say you can use these interchangeably, but it just makes sense to me to call one um, Section one article so you would have a section and then we have articles in that section, right? So maybe it's like a news section and then in that section I have you know a uh, different articles about things that happened with my company in the news right and then i can have another section and this could be like a biography section and i could have an article about a person and then over here i can have what we call an aside and in the aside there could be a figure that has an image and a fig caption in it okay um so basically i'm not going to read through all these so there's the header i guess i will uh header nav main or i showed you section article aside it's just useful if you're trying to put like a, a thing on like a sidebar on the side. A good example is that, you know, sometimes when you read an article, there'll be a section where they pull out a quote from somebody in there and they make it bigger and they write it a little bit differently. That would be like an aside. Um, or if you have like a secondary nap bar, maybe put that aside. Um, uh, footer. Oh, I forgot that. The footer obviously goes at the bottom. If, uh, I don't have one here, but my site has a footer. You know, if I scroll all the way down here, you can see. Yeah, come on. Go. Why do you not go down? There we go. So you can see there's a footer here, and that's on every page. It's broken. Um, i got to fix that. Uh, uh, so there's the footer, uh, figure, and fig caption. So the idea is that often when you have a picture, you usually have some sort of description with the picture. So instead of just doing an image, like if you look up here, well, I didn't really do it. But if I had a picture that says, picture of John Cone, um, I would have that attached to this. But this would be an image, and this would be a P. There would be nothing to associate the two. But by instead doing a figure... And then have inside the figure have an image and a figure caption, fig caption. Uh, it helps make those associated to each other. All right. Details and summary. I don't really do anything with that. Uh, mark. I don't use that. Should take these out. And time. Those don't really matter. Okay. Uh, so those are basically the HTML5 elements. All you would do is so, for instance, um, let's say I want to do the main section. I would just go over here, where this says div content. I would just do main. And then I would just go to the closing div of this, which I guess would be all the way basically to the bottom. I think that... Oh, I didn't close that well. Uh, and then we would just do like this. That would close it. So that's the main section. Okay. So the, the all my stuff that's in here is the main section. And then um, I would go up here and where I had that... That thing, where are you? Content. I would just take this out and instead put... Oh, not hashtag main, just main, because that's the name of the tag. Okay. Um, and then, you know, where I had this, uh, I did head top, but I might go up here and put header or head. Header? Header. Right, because head's this. I'd put header, uh, and then I would have, instead of a div ID, I would put nav. Instead of div ID nav bar, I would just put nav in here and nav here. Okay. So, like this nav, and then 
nav. Okay. So a lot of what I already did through divs, I would just replace them and use these instead because these have semantic meanings. And that's the basic lump sum of it. Okay. Uh, so that is the HTML5 for day.